How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. Today I'm going to show you how you can share your iCloud storage, your subscriptions, your purchases and much much more with somebody else. Let's say a family member or a friend. This is so so cool. It's called Family. It's right here built in to your Apple ID. It's super easy to set up and I'm going to show you right now step by step how you can do this. Let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't enabled your family sharing just yet, you won't see this as you guys can see right here on mine. So all you have to do is tap on your name. So tap on it. And then right here, you'll see family sharing right there. That's the feature. So tap there. You see two members at this point. So me, I'm the organizer and an adult, which is my fiance, as you can see right here. If you wanna invite somebody to participate to your family and of course share your iCloud storage, subscriptions, purchases, and much more, all you have to do is tap here at the top right hand corner. We have a dedicated icon for that. That's a plus button, as you can see, let it load. And as you can see, the iPhone is so, so smart that it'll actually suggest people for you. So my father, mother, and here are two of my best friends. But in this video, I'm not gonna invite any of those people, I'm actually going to invite this other phone right here, which has a different Apple ID from mine. This is the studio iPhone. All right. So let's pretend this is another family member. All right. I want to invite this person right here. So as you can see, you can go ahead and invite others. Uh, please keep in mind that you can also invite a child so you can create a child account. Therefore, you can have more options. You can manage a few other options. So if you're doing this for for a child, I do recommend that you create a child account. Uh, in this case, I'm adding as another adult. All right. So plus to invite others and then let it load as you can see. And we have a few ways to invite. We can airdrop, we can send here an iMessage and so on. I'm going to use airdrop just because I'm right next to it. So I think it's going to be easier for us. All right. So tap on airdrop right here. It's actually just picking up my iMac, which is not what I want, but I can use the new feature, which is just bring them close right next to each other like that. And as you can see right here, we've got the information. So as you can see on my other iPhone, I've got the information about AirDrop. So uh, Daniel's iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is this guy right here, would like to share family sharing. That's exactly what I want. So go ahead here and accept. And as you guys can see, it just disappeared from here. And that's because there we go. We've got all of the information. So you have been invited as you can see. So we can share subscriptions, as I said, purchases, as I said, and you can set up parental controls as well. All right. So let's go ahead here and join family. So it's always going to have this family theme, right? But of course you can invite friends as well. All right. So go ahead here, all set, done. And then we're done on this iPhone. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second. All right. If we pick up the owner iPhone, right? So let's call it the organizer as Apple calls it, right? If we tap on done, right here, you'll see that we already have Daniel, which is this guy right here, right as another family member. So we have me, the organizer, you saw it before, right? And now we have Daniel right there. If I tap on it, I can manage a few information. You see the name, adult, the Apple ID, of course, subscriptions. So if you tap on it, you see the subscriptions that we are sharing. Uh, and that's everything that I have uh, subscribe, right? So iCloud plus I am sharing with the other person. So, uh, that's pro that's actually from my fiance, right? So the third phone is also sharing with us final cut pro Apple music, Apple TV plus Apple arcade and Apple fitness plus. So as you can see, I am sharing all of that with the other family members, including this one that I have just added, right? So come back here. Same thing with purchases, location sharing. If you want to, you can uh, share your location and vice versa with the other person. And that's how it works, right? So coming back here, we have family. So right now you're here, this family of three, let's say, right? But there's one final step especially if you want to use iCloud Plus. If this guy right here, the person I've added to my family wants to use my iCloud Plus storage, right? As you can see, I have here two terabytes, right? So I have two terabytes and I am sharing this iCloud Plus storage with my fiance. And I have to actually manually choose 
to get the storage on this phone as well. So that's the final step, right? So let's go ahead here, get my phone that I've just added, right, to the family, go ahead here to settings, and then tap on my Apple ID name, as you can see. And if I just tap on iCloud, you see I just have five gigabytes. As you can see, I don't have access to the two terabytes of my family member right here, but we can easily do that. So if we come back and then tap on family sharing right there, right? So it's gonna show the family, right? All of us here. If we tap on subscriptions and let it load once again, it takes a while sometimes. As you can see, iCloud Plus shared by Daniel. But you have to manually tap here and actually use the family storage. As you can see, you have this button to use family storage. So there's this manual step. And as you can see right now, I am using the family storage. So right here, if we come back now, it may take a little while to actually show up right here. There we go, perfect, it was instant. So as you can see, now I have the two terabytes. So right now I have absolutely everything here. I have Apple Music, I have all the services, Apple Fitness Plus, Apple TV Plus, I have the iCloud Plus storage as well, two terabytes, just like that, super simple in just a couple minutes. So that's literally it. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to share your iCloud Plus storage subscriptions and purchases with somebody else using the family member feature. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.